Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. In the first update of the day, this is the ladies from Samson Data who is just looking massive. Now, if you guys remember last year, Samson Data did the Arnold UK, he did the KO Squad Egypt, Prague, Romania. This year, he did the Arnold Classic as well as Boston. Samson was able to improve while doing all of those shows. So, what is Samson going to be able to do when he finally has a full offseason? And we're seeing what he's building already, guys. This side chest is just crazy. Samson's muscle bellies and roundness, unreal. And this guy's a taller guy with great legs. You know, most guys that are above 5'10", they really struggle in the leg department. And it definitely looks like Samson has made some improvements to the back. But as we know, when you get closer to a competition, your weaker body parts kind of start to go first. So Samson will still need a little time to really bring that back up to a Mr. Olympia level back. But going into this year's Mr. Olympia, everyone knows that Samson could potentially place top six. You know, Nick Walker, Ian Valier, everyone talks very highly of Samson Dowda. And switching over to another more aesthetic guy that will actually be competing this weekend, Quint Beastwood. He posted this up at about one day out. Maybe this was two days out. And what do you guys think about this physique? You know, we all know he has an incredible structure, but he still needs a bit of time to put the size on. But how do you guys think he stacks up this weekend? You know, can he match up with Akeem? Can he beat a guy like Kamal El Gardney? But I really love Quincy's physique, and as I said numerous times, I really like his mindset. He's just focused on himself and focused on bringing the best package. And regardless what happens this weekend, we're probably going to see him in Texas next weekend. Now, speaking of Kamal El Gardney, he put this up in one day out, courtesy of his coach, Chris the Technician Aceto. Kamal is looking peeled, man. This is going to be very, very hard for anyone to beat in Tampa. Quentin, Akeem... It's going to be hard to beat a guy like Kamal, especially from behind. But once Kamal turns to the front, you can definitely see he is a smaller guy, you know, structurally and weight-wise. So how is he going to look, you know, maybe next to Quint and Akeem? Quint is about six foot one, maybe 260. We have Akeem Williams, who's about five foot nine, and who knows how much Akeem weighs. He's definitely up there, too. But this is going to be a very exciting show. Do you guys think Kamal can pull a Sean Clarita and win this show? And in the next update of the day, this is the latest update from Steve Kuklo. Steve seems to be keeping everything pretty quiet, man. This is the best update we're probably going to get from him. He's looking to come in big and grainy, vascular, looking to punch his ticket for this year's Mr. Olympia. Initially, he had set out hoping to qualify out points, but we had so many other guys compete. I'm pretty sure they passed Steve in points. I would have to double check, though. And in the next update of the day, this is the latest from Charles Griffin. And it's crazy how much this vacuum has just transformed the entire look of his physique. Now, Charles is actually a pretty complete bodybuilder. You know, great back, great arms. Bringing in the midsection made the look a lot better, as well as good quads. I can't really say too much he needs to improve except bringing the chest up to match the arms. And he could also bring the calves up a bit. But Charles Griffin is working with Matt Jansen, who coaches Brett Wilkin, the former coach of Nick Walker. Also coaches Sean Clarita as well, so Matt seems like he has the formula, probably one of the best coaches in the sport right now. And also, Charles Griffin has been training with Brett Wilkin a lot. I believe there are videos on Brett YouTube's channel. You guys should definitely go check those out. Now, the next update of the day, courtesy of Buys and Tries on Instagram, this is Jay Cutler's statement on Michael Crizzo. I feel he can win the amateur, he can win the pro, and he can get instant qualification for this year's Mr. Olympia. He's going to be a big problem. He's 100% legit. Now, this is coming from Jay Cutler. And as you guys remember my last video, I was saying, you know, we should take some of the hype off the guys that aren't qualified and talk about the guys that are qualified. But this is coming from Jay Cutler, guys. So if Jay Cutler says Chris was a problem, I guess Chris was a problem. And in the next update of the day, this is the latest update from Sean Clarita, who just looks skin bursting full. And Sean is about 205 pounds. Now, as we know, Sean Clarita could compete in the Open this year. He's already qualified. Kamal El Gardner said he's just going to do these open shows. He's going to do the 212 regardless. Now, me personally, I think Sean Clarita should stay in the 212 division, you know. He's already won an open show. He's already proven himself. And it's going to be very, very hard for him, you know, stack up against those bigger guys in open. But if Sean Clarita was able to stay in the 212 and we potentially have Derek Lunsford moving up, Sean Clarita is a guy that can just own this division, guys, for years and years to come. But hopefully the 212 doesn't fizzle out with a lot of these guys moving up. But I can see Sean Clarita being a multiple-time Olympia champion in the 212 division versus, you know, a 6th to 10th place placer in Open. And in the next update of the day, this is the latest from Ramon Dino. And I noticed it seems like Ramon likes to stay pretty close to stage weight in the offseason, still has a good Christmas tree. 
But I'm excited to see this guy compete in December. You know, Chris, Breon, Terrence. I'm excited to see all of the classic guys, you know. And not to forget, we have Fabian Meyer as well, who has made improvements. Fabian beat Ramon just last year. So this is going to be a very exciting Mr. Olympia, not only in open, but classic as well. Now, the next update of the day, these were updates from Kareth Bajo at one day out. Kareth did play second at the Tampa Pro to Keon and Pearson in the 212 division. Incredible look. And in all honesty, outside of him bringing the backup some, Keon just had a better structure, you know, and also looked a lot bigger. But Kareth is a serious threat in his 212 division. And in the next update of the day, these are your winners from the Tampa Pro and men's physique as well as classic physique. We have Daniel Ammons, who won the men's physique division, beat out Andre Ferguson, who was a 16-time IFBB Pro winner and also a three-time Arnold Classic champ. This guy definitely shocked a lot of people. Courage Opar is headed back to the Mr. Olympia, one of my favorite physiques. Now, the next update of the day, this is the latest from Brian Belzano. I believe Brian won the 212 division at the Indy Pro. I've seen no one talk about this guy, but as usual, no one talks about 212. No one talks about anyone that isn't the top guys other than Michael Crizzo. But this guy looks incredible, man. Another guy that looks huge for the 212 division. I believe he's around 230 pounds right now, but he's definitely going to look to shake some things up at this year's Mr. Olympia. And ending this video here with my archive of the day of the late and great. And you guys should definitely be able to guess this one. This is actually pretty easy. Leave it in the comment section below. As always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. If you haven't done so already, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Christian from Go Fitness, and I'm out.